Welcome back. Now let us proceed with the wrapping up of our lesson. Now, we start with the concept map recap. Remember, we started by looking into the meaning of diversity. Then we looked into the various diversity issues to say how can the business deal with the diversity issues in the workplace. Then looked into the benefits to say what are the benefits of dealing with those diversity issues. Then we moved to environmental issues by looking into now the employer's responsibility in promoting human health and safety in the workplace. Then we looked into the roles of health and safety representatives in the workplace. Then looked into the role of workers or employees' responsibility in promoting human health and safety in the workplace. Then we looked into ways businesses may use to protect the environment and human health in the business. Thereafter, we looked into the new words and languages that we were focusing on. The term that we used was diversity a lot because it means that the workforce must include groups of variety of people who are different in race, gender, and class. Then we have inclusivity, which means that now no one should be excluded because of their gender, age, race, language, or disability. Then another one we have is the term poverty, which refers to being unable to satisfy basic needs due to the lack of income to buy. Then another terminology we have is the term race, which refers to the classification of people according to their physical difference, for example, the color of their skin. Then we have the term disability as for instance, a, a diversity issue, which refers to a physical or mental condition that limits a person's movement, sense, or activity. And this means the business should accommodate such a person. And then another aspect is religion, which refers to a belief in or worship of superhuman or controlling of power, especially of a personal God. Then another one is age, which refers to the length of time that a person has lived or a thing has existed. Then we have the term culture, which refers to ideas, customs, and social behaviors of a particular people or society. Then we have the term environmental issues, which refers to preserving a clean and a safe, sustainable environment. Then we have the term protect, which is keeping safe from harm. So that was your new words and language for this lesson. Then common errors, many learners fail to identify the correct diversity issue from the scenario. So the solution, keep in mind your keywords so that you are able to identify the correct diversity issue. Then another one is that learners provide unclear sentences when responding to questions on the role of health and safety representative. So make sure that when you're looking into the role of health and safety representative, you focus on the role. You do not confuse it with the responsibility of the employer or responsibility of the employee because that can be a problem and you can lose your marks. Then. Learners confuse the role of health and safety representative with the responsibility of the employer in promoting human health and safety again. That is another challenge over there. Then, I have your challenging question as the idea that you should advise businesses on the benefits of diversity in the workplace. So, with that being said, this was our lesson and hoping it made sense to you. And remember, step into the shoes of a businessman for you to be able to apply these principles correctly and for you to understand the content in a much better way. Think of yourself as a businessman. That way, you'll be safe. So with that being said, thank you for watching our lesson. Keep well. Goodbye.